Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 28 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. And of course, you can see I am in front of a castle walking on the bridge here in Trakai. We'll talk about it more. <laughs> Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. Uh, oh yeah, I already did the video, so you should, you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I already did the intro, but that's basically what I did today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, the timing of these videos are always tough because I have to wake up uh, early and and that's fine. But th the point is that like I'm when I'm up early, I always want to keep going. Uh, and at night when I'm ready to do the problems, when I'm like resting a little bit physically, uh, it's a little bit awkward timing but yeah today we have 2302 count several ways with uh score less than k all right let's go it's a hard problem uh my dis disclaimer is that uh i mean i always solve this so let me take a i, I don't want to look at the i just want to look at the date um and the date is june 11 so check out that video probably by 2022 i did okay if not then um if i don't talk about contribution then come back i don't know uh but uh, you know, it's, uh, it's 8 a.m. here, uh, in Renewers, uh, Renewers, yeah, I keep saying it wrong still, so yeah, Lithuania, um, so, I'm way, I'm probably rushing a little bit, so my, my apologies if I'm not explaining 100%, I mean, even if I'm trying not to mentally, like, I just want to go out and see more stuff, right, not gonna lie, so, Okay, let's take a look at today's problem. Uh, yeah. So okay, so the first thing I want to say is that with these problems, I always think about, uh, not always, but uh, I guess, but like w many often, um, <clears throat> think about, um, think about it in terms of what I call contribution, right? And what I mean by that is just um, for every element, if it is the last element in a subarray or first element, but you have to choose. Um, then how? what is um, the contribution to the answer, to the final answer, right? And the reason why I like it that way is because uh, both is very precise and also um, it eliminates double counting if you do it precisely, um, which I guess is always true. Whereas just sliding window, there's a lot of greedy assumptions over there. And of course, sliding window can be um, solved using this idea as well. It's just that... Uh, to solve one contribution problem, you have to solve uh, the other, um, you know, you, you build it off the other uh, previous answers that you get, right? Um, man, my, not gonna lie, my Airbnb is a little bit chilly. Like my hands are kind of like numbing and cold, even though I'm just sitting here. I guess maybe I'm by the window. Maybe that doesn't help. But in any case, right? So here, for, what I mean by that is that, okay, let's say you have this example, right? <coughs> Uh, and k is equal to 10, uh, we, we just try to figure out, okay, if the answer is, oh, sorry, if the current element is 3, how, what is the 3's contribution to the answer? Well, uh, what is the, I didn't even read the poem, honestly, I just saw a count separate ways. <laughs> okay, so product of a sum and length, huh, sum and length, so that means that they prefix sum, right? And it has to be less than k, okay. So that means that they, for this, there is a property where you want to go, like it's almost at least binary searchable. You have to set up the structure, and I don't know if it's easy to set up, but you can imagine that, right? Um, because the more numbers you get, the bigger number you're gonna get, right? So there, there is a monotonicity there that you have to notice. Um, not to say that binary search is the answer. It's just that that um, at the very least there, there's a um, a plan to attack there, right? Um, whether you know it's the best or not, I don't know, but yeah. Uh, the second thing I noticed uh, now that I read the problem is that there's this sum, right? So you probably want some prefix sum so that you could get any subarray in constant time, right? That's just a very uh, basic pre-processing thing that you probably that comes up often enough, and it's it's linear, so it's never um, uh, it's linear, so it's usually not gonna be wrong just because. Um, Right, uh, it's all it's, it's not gonna be wrong because it's just a linear thing, it's a constant uh, uh, 
multiply on top of your code. So it's not a, it, yeah. And you look at this, it's, and it's a pretty tight constant code. So it's not, uh, you know, when you, when you uh, are able to use it, just use it, right? Um, you, or even you, uh, you know, use it even if you don't have to. Anyway, uh, yeah. So anyway, so we, we go, okay, can we extend it to, you know, the, uh, by itself, it's three times one, so that's three, that's good. Uh, second, seven times two, right? That's still good, and so forth, right? So you could kind of, um, in a, if you were to kind of, um, like one way to do it f with the idea of this contribution is that you can do what I said, right? You take this as last element and you just linear search, you know, or walk it one step at a time, right? You know, uh, of course that's gonna be too slow. That's gonna be n squared, and I suspect n is gonna be big. Otherwise, this is not a hard problem, right? Of course, you can also have this idea of binary search. You could play around with. Uh, actually, I think that's good enough, right? I was thinking maybe I could do something more clever, but actually, yeah, because um, because the sum is you could get an all one time with the prefix, and then the length you can also get an all one time because that's just the difference between the, the the indexes, right? So then I think that's basically it. I think we are essentially, ideally done. Um, maybe there's an all of n solution. But uh, but especially on a contest, I'm not gonna think about it. Uh, on an interview, I may um, I might mention it. I'll be like, hey, I think there's a binary search solution. It's gonna be n log n. You know, it's gonna be good enough because for each element you could do an O of n. Uh, uh, for each element you could do an log n. That's good enough, right? So yeah, I think that's good. That that's all I'm gonna do. Uh, especially since today I am trying to get out of here soon. I'm look. I, I, Look, I enjoy spending time with Yao and Need Code, but I'm in a foreign country. It is a little bit cold, but other than that, um, yeah. And in case you're wondering, it is, uh, it is about three or four Celsius or something like that. So I've been kind of layer up in like so many layers, uh, and I should have put a puffy coat maybe. But it's supposed to get warmer. I don't know. Anyway, as much as I, I love doing this, I am just going to solve this. Maybe there's a linear solution. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, maybe there's a linear solution. I don't know, right? But this is what I'm gonna do, right? So here for um, yeah, let's just say for i in range of n, right? Uh, and you can also honestly, uh, I, I I always by convention or just by habit more than convention, I uh, use say in this in the previous way, I would have said three. How far do I go to the left? To so that three is the last away, right? Because as I go from left to right, it's usually you want to pre-process the numbers you've seen, right, in some way, so that you could do incremental benefit, right? But for this problem, you don't have to, right? So if you, you know, you, and what I mean by that is that instead of looking at three and say, okay, this last element, how do I get the answer? Well, just by binary search to the left. Okay, fine. But you can also do it the other way if you really want to, you know, think about it. And that's, I just thought about this now, which is that, okay, let's say two is the first element of, an, of a separate way. How far to the right we get? Well, also binary search, but it's just a way, um, it's just much easier to write, right? Or think about, and you could even use library functions, uh, like bisect left as a result. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I don't, I don't know. I'm thinking, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do it that way then. Right. So here, uh, we just, so then here, um, So what do we want to search for, right? Um, oh wait, 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 wait. Um, what am I talking about? Maybe you can use by. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you could use the library, but I don't want to. I don't know. It's. I I know how to do it, so let's just do it, right? So here. Um, we want to say left is equal to i, and this is just me setting up for binary search, right? And right is equal to n minus one. These bounds are inclusive, right? So it includes left and right. Um, but we also have to double check because there is a case where um, this may be zero. So we have to check on this actually, right? And what I mean by that is that there's zero element. For example, if k is one and one element is 10 or whatever, then you don't even have one element, right? So, so that's something to think about. Um, yeah, so uh, maybe we don't have to. We could just write, um, I mean, we, we have to think about it, but we can skip the thinking about by saying if num sub i is uh, greater than k, then we just continue, right? Because that means that num sub i times one 
because you have one element is greater than k and i have to spell continue correctly anyway and then now this is just binary search you can write it however you like this is the way i always like it i always like inclusive bounds because then when this loop only has uh, when the range, which is when this loop only has one element, uh, it'll be false, and also you have a range of one element, which is your answer, um, right? So then, I'll, so then now, if um, I want to write if good of mid, right? If good means that this is this, and you could define however you like, but however you define it um, determines what index you update, right? So for me, good for this problem is just that it is strictly less than k. Oh. Strictly less than. Huh, why did I write it? So I have to change that. But yeah. Um, so if it is good, if it is strictly less than k, then that means that we want to try a bigger array. So then left is equal to mid because mid is good, right? So otherwise, right is equal to mid minus one. And then we're going to do a plus one here to count out the minus one. Uh, I, I could see and hear some construction outside. So my apologies if there's just random bangs in the background. I am traveling. I have no control with this. Uh, if I go to a cafe or something, it's just going to be worse anyway, I think. Anyway, yep. Uh, and here, for, for easy's sake, maybe I'll just pass in the I as well, so that you know the left side and the right side, or maybe even uh, just to do the left side and the right side, because you'd have to prefix some of all these numbers, right? And then now you just total, and this is an inclusive range, so that means that you have just right minus left plus one. And you should be good as long as you implement the good function, right? Uh, and here, uh, good, and this is uh, left right index, right? Not to be confused with this left right, which I use for, for binary search, maybe this is a bad habit, but this is the left index and the right index, right? Um, so, okay, so then now we want to just calculate. Well, first calculate um, the 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 score, right? So it's gonna be num sub uh, right plus one minus num sub left. I, for this problem for today, I'm not gonna go over prefix sum. My apologies. I mean, I already told you why I'm in a rush. Not really in a rush, but <laughs> but you know, um, there are a lot of prefix sum problems. Um, so definitely work on those a little bit. Uh, maybe even my previous video, really. But yeah. So then now, and so that's the sum part. You know, the in the number of length part is uh, this right and then we just uh, and this is good if this is strictly less than k and that should be okay a okay hopefully uh, ooh this is infinitely looping <laughs> oh x and prefix is going to be infinite <laughs> okay, so it's not that easy to write prefix sum apparently because I still managed to get it wrong. Well. Um, okay. Hmm. Which part of this can be out of range? Right is n minus one, so nums. Huh. There must. I mean, I, I clearly have something weird going on, but this should be n minus one, right? So this is, must be at most n, but prefix sum only has n numbers. So why, why would uh why I, I, I like more prevents, but why would this be? Uh, okay, so if this is n minus one and this is n minus one, no, this should be mid should be okay, I guess. Am I doing this wrong? I mean, clearly I'm doing it wrong, but hmm, I just point it out. I was hoping to get out of here, honestly. <laughs> uh, okay, two and four. Oh, 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 I'm dumb, I'm dumb. I wrote prefix here and I was like, all right, but then now here I wrote nums. <laughs> okay, I, I, I've been, I mixed both cases, I don't know. Okay, it's wrong, but that's fine. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's not fine, but am I missing anything? Oh. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. So this is, I, I, I see. But, um, so what is this, right? This is the number of, so the right, no, this should be right. No, no, no. Huh. Let's see. Uh, no, I, I don't, maybe I'm off by one, but I mean, maybe I am, but not in the way that I think initially that I am. Um, Zero and okay, one one. Oh. Uh. 
Oh, 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 I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I see, I see. Uh, eh, I, this is what happens when you can use everything as left and right. Um, left and right is just for the binary search, right? So left is the answer, but the answer is the right bound, but the left bound is not this left. The left bound is I, right? Because I is the index that you're binary searching from. Okay, <laughs> this is what happens when you name everything left and right. Really silly. Uh, let's see if it works first before I say that. Okay, wow. I mean, clearly there's a lin linear solution if you just look at this. Uh, did I do a linear solution last time? Uh, I did do a linear solution last time with sliding window. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I, I did not even think about sliding window today. Um, you saw my progress. I was like, oh, wait, you can binary search. So let's just do it. Maybe I could have uh, thought about sliding windows a little bit. Um, uh, the thing about in rariness that um, because you extend every time you extend um, it's almost like uh, the same principle as monotonic or mono stack or something like that mono queue where when you increase um, you want to decrease from the left side because because this because um, the possibilities of your left because because you cannot go past it when you pass it, it it's not even true for the previous array so how can it uh, 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 yeah, it's not even true for the previous element. How can it be true for this element? So you know that the left side has to shrink, right? So you can walk that shrink, um, and that will work. It's linear time. Okay, watch that previous video that I wrote. Uh, sorry, friends. I already told you my circumstances. I probably should have spent a little bit on sliding windows. But hopefully, um, this also gives you another way. I mean, for, uh, for obviously for this problem, it's not the optimal way. But... But... Um, but there are other problems where this would apply and this, the, this greedy sliding window would not apply. And it's just good to have all these things in your tool shed. And as you can see, it's unlock end. It's fine. It's just re relatively slow. Anyway, that is all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And yeah, stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. Uh, goodbye from Lufirania. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.